All right, well, Rookie of the Year, congratulations. And, and you certainly are. You haven't graduated high school yet. Not right? yet. I'm a senior at Nevillesville High School. Well, to talk about uh, your, your innovation here, and I mean, it, it really is kind of for the high school market, right? Yeah, definitely. So I created a, a digital hall pass app. So uh, hall passes in high schools are usually like paper hall passes where a student will bring it from class to class. But there's problems with that because, for example, kids will steal stacks of passes or lose the passes and teachers hate writing them. So when I was a freshman in my high school, the entire school was equipped with iPads. So students had them, teachers have them, administrators have them. And then I just built an app that basically digitized the entire hall pass system. We used it uh, my sophomore, junior year at Noblesville. Um, and now we're in uh, six schools across the country and it's growing every day. So it's really exciting. Uh, where did you learn to, to do this? I mean, where, where did the training come to develop an app? Yeah, so I actually just started teaching myself. I was in the library once with my mom and I checked out a book about computer programming and I just sort of loved it ever since. So you say you're in schools throughout the country. Uh, talk, talk about how the word got out, how you were able to, uh, to land these deals. Definitely. Well, the administrators and everybody at Noblesville High School where I go to school had been so supportive of me. They took a chance and they said, okay, we'll, we'll use your app. Um, so uh, as a sophomore, I gave it to Noblesville for free and that, I got some PR and exposure from that. Then some more local schools joined in, namely Center Grove, which is like a 3,000 person high school. So it was kind of crazy to be in a school that big. And then from there, um, on, on the internet, through Twitter, social media, other schools have heard about it. Um, there's one using it in Pennsylvania right now a couple outs throughout Indiana and one in Florida. So it's exciting. So what are the next steps? Obviously you want to keep growing, but I, I assume college is next. Yeah. So uh, as as all of that kind of happens at once, what's next for uh, for PassWiz? Well, right now I'm working with um, a student actually from Pendleton. His name is Brandon Boyden. He's a, he's a high school senior. He's an awesome kid and he's running a company that also does app development. So we're partnering. Um, we both have similar um, app strategies for the education market. And so we're going to work together to build those that we can both um, continue those develop, developing those businesses in college. And then I'm actually headed off to Cal Berkeley next year for college. Well, as you look to the future, is, is app development where you want to be? Uh, are, are there other ideas kind of that, that you're already forming? What, uh, what, what is your vision as, as the next few years? To be completely honest, I'm not 100% sure. I know I want to do something with startups and um, you know, entrepreneurship and something like that, but I don't know exactly what product or business that's going to be. Um, obviously, the market changes so quickly, so I don't really know yet, but I'm always thinking, you know, you know, trying to work on new things and prototype different ideas. And, and you had said the support from the school has been a huge help. I mean, I, you know, obviously, you're, you know, you're young to get into this game, uh, how how has that helped the, the school and, and the other students and yeah. you know, like you said your partner how how has that helped you uh, accelerate that? well it's just sort of it's, it's first of all it's a really closed feedback loop right because I'll be in class and some kid next to me will be like hey this thing isn't working and I'm like all right I'll fix it tonight you know <laughs> so that's part of it but the other part of it is just you know always being around supportive you know administrators teachers students I could not have done this if the school you know didn't want me to do it or, or wasn't willing to buy in and so just having that support system has given me the confidence not only uh, work with passes, but other things that I'm going to do in the future. And and do you think this is a model, I mean, not specifically your app, but getting into this game that other high school students, specifically here in Indiana, have the opportunity to do? Oh, definitely. I think high school is almost the perfect breeding ground for entrepreneurship because you have, like I mentioned, the support system teachers who will help you when you fall and, you know, push you up when you succeed. You have, you know, your peers who can literally ask, you know, is this cool? Would you buy something like this? You know, what do you think about it? Um, and obviously the administrators, especially at Noblesville, but I'm sure, you know, throughout the Indiana schools who are willing to, you know, take a chance with students because we have so many smart entrepreneurial minds here that um, I just say, if you have an idea and you want to do it, go for it. It, you know, just try it. And and finally, you got into this just a little bit, but uh, what has the feedback been from from your classmates, basically, who are using this while sitting next to you? Well, people joke about it because it's it's like, do you, they really want an app that makes it harder for them to get around the school? <laughs> uh, but everybody likes it. You know, the kids support me. They think it's awesome. Um, and so it's been a really, really rewarding experience.